March 19, 1982, the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. This is where Michael Jordan would start his legacy. Down 82-81 to 81 with the ball, Jordan would dribble out the clock and hit a game winner to push his Tar Heels over Patrick Ewing and the Hoyas. Today, as we talk about Michael Jordan, we'll go over our th three main points. His early life, his rise to fame, and his retirement. As a child, Michael Jordan's parents were hardworking blue-collar employees who taught Jordan the importance of hard work. As a young boy, Jordan's father introduced him to the games of football, basketball, and baseball. In middle school, Jordan starred being the best athlete in his middle school. But when he got to high school, it was a whole different world. The 5'9 Jordan was cut from the varsity team as a sophomore. But he used us as fuel to the fire. Training hard through the offseason and being aided by a growth spurt, the now 6'6 Jordan made the team and averaged a triple-double his final two years of high school. After being the best high school player in the country, Jordan would commit to North Carolina. His, his impact would be immediately felt on campus, leading the Tar Heels to three straight NCAA tournaments and averaging 17.7 points and five rebounds during his career. Jordan was also named a two-time All-American. Knowing that it, it was his time to move on, he would leave college a year early and put his name in the NBA draft. Jordan was the third pick in the 1984 NBA draft. His rookie year, he would go on to average 25 points, four rebounds, and five assists and be named the NBA Rookie of the Year. After his impressive rookie performance, Jordan would sign a shoe, shoe contract with Nike. This is when the infamous Jordan 1 would be released. The shoe would create a culture shock across the country. Everyone needed them. And still today, you can see people wearing them all over, with some pairs being resold for thousands of dollars. After winning three state championships and three straight MVPs, Jordan would, out of the blue, retire at what seemed to be the prime of his career. This was largely due to the murder of his father. Jordan said he wanted to pursue a baseball career in honor, since that was his father's favorite sport. But after a year, Jordan couldn't take it. He would return to the NBA and win another three state championships cementing himself as the greatest NBA player of all time. After Jordan's career with the Bulls was over, he decided it was time to move on. He would become a part owner and player of the Washington Wizards, going on to average 22 points per game with the Wiz. Now, the 38-year-old Jordan would now retire for good. As we recap now, I hope you've all learned a ton about Jordan's early life, his rise to fame, and his retirements. Have a good day to you all.